this is just too too cool this is so obviously this has two necks it is a prs private stock 594 semi hollow double neck guitar prs private stock so this is the this is what most guitars strive to be it is a uh all single neck guitars strive to be double necks <laughs> no but all guitars most guitars strive to be like a private stock prs and uh this one was a this one was really really fun to build took a lot of work on paul miles's part and tina's part to get the specs and everything squared away but this being a 594 semi hollow double neck is one of the first it was the first ones that it was the first one they tried to build took a long time this thing was in in uh, development for a long time just to get the the necks in the right spot you know just dialed in front to back and and the the body to be designed just right and to have the knob layout for what you know essentially what a 594 can do so um so let's run through this thing. Obviously, this is a quilt maple top. And to find, essentially to do a double neck, you gotta find two pieces that really book match each other and feel and look good for, to, to, so this thing looks symmetrical like a private stock top should. Then you have to go and you gotta find a back to match it. So you've got this kind of, you know, detail and thought put into finding the body woods for this thing so it looks good front to back. Um, they even carved this out of the original piece so it would look good all together. So it's a really special, special couple pieces of wood there for the quilted maple top and back. It is mahogany center here and it's a beautiful piece of mahogany. You can look at it even though there's very little of it that you can see. It is a, uh, it's a nice piece of mahogany, um, nice piece of hog. Um, it is a, the necks on this are hormigo and they feel so good. And I know a lot of people don't know about hormigo necks, but the wood is just such a smooth, good feel. It's like, it's, it's like Brazilian, but in some ways, you know, the way it takes this, the, the finish, uh, I love it. I, I almost like it. I almost feel better, you know, with it. And uh, this is exotic ebony fretboards. And on the fretboards, what, what I wanted to do when I talked to Paul Miles, because he designs those, you know, he, he, he's a very good artist. And he came up with the More Music Eagle up here that's, that's only, that only goes on our private stock models. But this was designed by Paul Miles, and, and he is such a badass. Um, this I wanted this to be one scene. You know, you kind of have a bigger, a bigger canvas to work with here by having two necks, and I didn't want it to just be birds. So I asked Paul Miles to create a scene that worked for both fretboards, and he he knocked it out of the park. And um, so what we have here is the water from like a lake or the Chesapeake Bay for those of you that that live there near the factory. Um, and it's, this is the eagle coming down to get its prey to, uh, you know, coming down to grab a fish out of the water. Um, and then up here, you've got what we call the flock of eagles, flock of eagles um, for you 80s folk. Um, and it's really well thought out because there's a bird on the, on the right frets and there's two birds on the 12 and you've got the 15 and the, I mean, it's just, there's just things I notice about this that Miles did that just really, really kick ass and, and blows me away what he can do. So, and then the team there to be able to implement it is just, it's just so crazy. Um, so then what we have is obviously it's a matching exotic ebony um, uh, headstock veneers which really just capped this thing off, especially with the more music eagle there um, on both both headstocks. Um, the pickups in this thing are 5708s in the the 12 string, and 
uh, 5815LTs like in a 594 on the six string. So the reason we did that was because we wanted something, you know, with the 5815s, they're, they're what they are. They're the newer pickup. We wanted to go back and have something that was kind of completely different. Not completely different, but a little more subtle, a little more maybe, you know, just laid back for the for the uh, 12 string so you kind of get this and, and I'm, I'm up in the the neck pickup here both pickups the bridge pickup. See, that's really cool. I mean, it's just, you got plenty to do with that, just the, this upper half of the guitar. So I'm going to go into the six string and just play a little bit and, uh, and uh, let you, everybody, most of us know what 5815s sound like, but, but it's, I got a really cool trick I'm going to do here in a minute, but I'll, I'll run you through the pickup. So we're on the six string and we're in the, uh, the neck pickup. <laughs> Both pickups. And the bridge pickup. You can do a lot of cool stuff with this thing. I mean, obviously those six tones do a bunch of different stuff with your amp. Listen to this. This is this is I love this. This is really cool. So I've got I've got it on the six string side and watch what happens. I hope you can hope this comes across in the video. <laughs> it's just too much fun. I mean, this thing is, you know, this is like the, uh, you know, we sometimes we call the, uh, the custom 24, you know, the, the Swiss army knife. I mean, this is like a Swiss army knife and a Gerber tool and, uh, and like everything in one. I mean, there's no pocket big enough to hold this, this Swiss army knife. So, I mean, this is too much fun. I mean, this is obviously a collector's piece. Um, if I had it, I would play it all the time. I would be very careful with it, but I would play it all the time just because it is just way too much fun. Um, you know, part of our private stock build idea is to keep them classy, keep them kind of, I don't want to say vintage because that's not what we're after, but just to kind of, you know, it's not our thing to build really bizarre guitars. We like to keep them, not that other guitars aren't classy that are bizarre, but I'm just saying like really just a, an essential guitar, you know, and that's, I think this really, this really works for that. So. This is a uh, private stock number 6992 and uh, you can check it out at moreguitars.com. We are extremely happy to have this thing and uh, 
somebody else is going to be extremely happy to have it at some day too. So call with us if you have any questions. There's double the guitar to talk about here, so don't hesitate to call us. Um, you can live chat with us, email. You can leave comments here on the YouTube channel. You can leave comments on the Facebook page. Let us know what you think about this thing. We are uh, purely pumped to have it. So thanks a lot. I'm Brett at moreguitars.com.